What's up guys, it's Steve, and today we're gonna have a look at the Niche Zero Grinder. Had it for a few days now, um, so I'm just gonna give you my first impressions. So let's get into it. So first impressions, this grinder looks absolutely fantastic. It's almost like a piece of art. When I unboxed it, I just thought, wow, this doesn't even look like a coffee grinder. It looks amazing, uh, especially in the black. I prefer the black. I know the white seems to be the preferred color, uh, sells out quickest in all the different plug models and varieties and all of that, top, top, uh, and all of that sort of stuff. But for me, the black was the model I wanted, which is great. White, it's a bit clinical for me. Um, I, I prefer the black, so yeah, it looks great. Um, like everyone knows, we've got the lovely aluminium, I probably presume it is, uh, dosing cup. Could be stainless, but I don't think it is. With a nice niche branding on the bottom there, 58 mil, straight into your porter filter. You know how that goes. Wood accents on the bottom, the little cup sits in a wood accent as well. You can change these out, paint them. There are people making kits. Uh, again, if that's something you want to change. I think it looks great, colour it is. Dosing cup goes under there. On off switch at the side, simple as that. We lift the lid up, beans go into there. And then obviously your adjustment ring is on the top. So we can go from anything. Uh, you can keep going round if you want, go one and a half if you want. Do, do whatever. Um, I think that's probably one thing that some people have noted is that they would have preferred uh, more um, numbering if you like, but when you look at it and you look at it from the top, you think where where could you put the numbering? Um, they've got a calibrate, which is lovely. So to calibrate it, you basically tighten this down as much as you can. And then this black ring at the bottom, which I won't move. Um, basically you line that up with this calibration mark on the back. Now again, others have said, well, I could tighten it, over tighten it, under tighten it. But again, I suppose it kind of doesn't matter because the numbers really are gonna be irrelevant. This is filter drip, coarse, espresso, whatever. I found that this, okay, this is new grinder, but I've been grinding espresso at around 24, 25, which is not in its range according to this. So the numbers are just numbers, they're a guide. Um, I think that's the best way to, to look at it. Uh, in the top, you've got their, their NFC, I think call it, so the, the anti-popcorn disc. Uh, great, seems to work well. Very, very minimal popcorn in, which I can see so far. You shut the lid. Obviously, it won't grind with the lid up. Uh, well, I say it won't grind with the lid up. You could get it to grind with the lid up. There's a little red sort of safety catch, which the, the lid has a little plastic uh, nib that pushes that down. You could really... Um, you could push that down with a cocktail stick or a slim screwdriver or something. You could grind with it open, but I don't really know why you would. Um, so coffee in, in, under. Make sure you put that under, otherwise you're just going to have a mess. Uh, lid down or set your grind wherever you want it. Lid down, on. Lovely jubbly and we're off. And I think as a first impression, there's not much more to say. Um, I've had one filter with it, uh, which I set at around, I think it was 40 actually, uh, and I've had two or three uh, flat whites with it, which were again around the 24, 25 mark. And I have to say, it tastes great, great coffee. Um, yeah, everyone else has mentioned it's fantastic, it's easy to use, the usability, the workflow aspect, the single dosing aspect, it's everything I hope for. Um, the only the only grinder which I would was considering other than this is the, the DF64, the, the Solo as it's branded here in the UK. And I guess ultimately what swung me towards the niche is um, the, the Solo seems to have some slight niggles with clumping etc and retention, which and the, the their ring also the the indicator ring is basically is not very good. Um, so you've kind of got to spend 400 quid to then mod it a bit which I didn't really want. So I paid 500 quid, a little bit extra, but I've got something which in my opinion looks better and I haven't got to mess about with it. Uh, it's as easy as that. You want to get to the birds, you just unscrew this. Um, it's very easy to clean. There's one little tool in the top. It comes with a brush. 
Okay, it's a standard sort of based in brush. It didn't really need to come with that and a, and a, a low quality sort of, um, what size is that? It's probably around 10 mil uh, nut screwdriver it comes with as well. But again, you didn't need to include those. Most people have got those around the house, but it's nice they did. Um, I think, yeah, nice they included them, but not necessarily essential. If you said to me, I'll oh, drop the price by, I don't know, a fiver or a tenner and leave those out, I'd have said, yeah, because you've pretty much got those at home, most people, but go on. That's just me personally. Um, and yeah, grinding time is about a gram a second, I think. So 18, 20 gram dose, 18, 20 second grind time, not a problem at all. But with this grinder, you can load it up, switch it on, walk off, let it do its thing, keep grinding. If you came back a minute later, you came back a minute later, no fuss, no bother. Flick it off. You're done. An auto off would be nice, but yeah, it's not not essential really, but nice. Um, another thing is, as a first impressions, I think we'll leave it at that. So if you've got any questions based on this grinder or you want me to do anything specific with it, uh, please let me know. I'm gonna have a video coming up where I'm going to compare this versus a Time More C2 hand grinder. So completely opposite ends of the price spectrum, one manual, one electric grinder. Uh, and I'm gonna basically dial them in as close as I can for a pour over, and we're gonna see what they taste like difference. And also, is it a better coffee for literally five times the price in a bit? So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, it means a lot, helps the channel out. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.